Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F16C and we're looking at cold start with stored alignment. There are four types of INS alignment. Stored alignment is one of those four. So let's get straight to it. Main power switch, right click twice to main power. Left control and Charlie, press and hold to lower the canopy. Wait until it's all the way down and press the left lock here, left mouse button to lock. Next, jet fuel switch, left click once to start two. Next, watch the RPM gauge, ensure it gets to 20% before going any further. Okay. Next, uncage the throttle with right shift and home. And wait until we reach 60% and we are settled on idle. Next, to our avionics power panel. Left click on UFC, MFD, ST, STA, MMC, GPS, we do not need DL. Mid LVT, right click to on, and our INS knob, right click to stored heading in this case. To analyze that, we can see we've now got that automatically up on our DED here. If it hadn't come up automatically, list, then six to get to it. What we're looking at here is, on the right here, the quality of our alignment. It will count down from 99 to 10. 99 is non-aligned, 10 is fully aligned. We can fly the aircraft once we get to 10. Here is the decimal minutes of progress so far. Here is lat, long, and system altitude. With stored heading, like we're doing today, we will not adjust these. We will always leave them as they are, and we will not select them with a dobber and press enter like you do with a normal alignment. We must not change them at all for stored alignment to work. It's gonna take about a minute to count down to 10 in terms of quality, so let's crack on with the rest of our stuff. So, IFF, master to norm, check C and I to UFC, it's there. Back up, ADI, I'm gonna mouse scroll wheel up to the middle position to uncage, and then tune as necessary. Next, our sensor power, we're gonna get rid of the stick by clicking down there. We're gonna left click fire control radar on. We're gonna right click uh, radar altitude once and twice to be on radar altimeter. We turn on our right and left hard point powers as necessary. So if we've got an item on the right hard point like that or a teapot or whatever, um, click as necessary. Next, HUD, turn it on by dragging that guy up to the top. RWR, power, on. Next, CMDS, the countermeasures. We're going to turn on with right click and you can turn it on to whatever you want but i'm going to go on to manual we're going to turn our flares and our chaff on next on the seat like that next set the lights as required interior lights will be there exterior lights will be there next check the, check the advisory panel to make sure we've got no cautions there check master caution is off and it is. And we're gonna check our DED. We can see that we are flashing ready. We are flashing a line here, so we're good to go and we're quality 10. So INS knob back to nav, and that is us ready to go. I hope that's useful and see you later.